Hi, this is Jim with Everfi, and thank you so much for joining today's Quick Learning Lab. Today, I'm going to show you a great resource for teaching STEM through sports. We're going to give you a tour of the Future Goals Hockey Scholar Program, both the math and the science version. Then I'm going to give you a tour of the Everfi Teacher Dashboard to show you how you can get started with your students. After that, I'll show you additional ways that you can get support to make sure that you can hit the ground running with this awesome program. Before we get into that, I want to show you this highlight reel of some of the events that we've done with our partners in the NHL, the NHLPA, and our schools across the country. Let's check it out. The Carolina Hurricanes are extremely grateful to Everify and everything they do to continue to help the students and our teaching community here in North Carolina with this great program. My name is Jamal Mayer, so I'm the 2013 Santa Cup champion and an alumnus of the Blackhawks. The Blackhawks are always looking for different ways to get students into the game of hockey. The Future Goals program provides another avenue to help make the game accessible to everyone. I'm Jen Armstrong. I teach at Owen J. Roberts Middle School. You know, sports and specifically hockey have STEM concepts attached to them. So for them to see something that they're learning about in math and science and connect it to something that they're excited about in real time um, is awesome. Uh, with virtual learning really becoming such a key in today's world, we're thrilled to give the opportunity for kids to learn STEM through interactive lessons that are both fun and educational. The NHL came to us back in 2013 or 14 um, to present us with the opportunity to have uh, Everify come in and, and run STEM programming through the Future Goals program. Um, but this has really given us a chance to reach all of the kids uh, who are participating in the program. All I know is way back when I was a you know, middle school aged kid, boy, I wish I had access to a program like Future Goals. I just really love what the Future Goals is all about. I love that it's bringing the game of hockey into the classroom. The Future Goals program is another avenue to make it accessible to everyone. It is important to bring awareness and enjoyment to our game of hockey. Um, we're super excited to be a part of this and, and share this exciting program with you guys. As a Coyotes organization, we're always looking for different ways um, to get the game into students' minds, brains, hands, get them to experience the, the great game of hockey. Um, and, and a partnership that we have is with Everfy, and it's an awesome organization. I've enjoyed working with them. They're friends, they're colleagues. Um, they found a fun, interactive, creative way to teach students the game of hockey through science, technology, engineering, and math. What better way to bring the lightning to the forefront and to help educate these students on STEM-based materials while having fun. So this program has been great to us over the years. As you can see, we've had a really incredible and inspiring community come together over the years around the Hockey Scholar program. Let's take a look at what the course has to offer and check out what the student experience looks like. First, let's take a look at the math edition of Future Goals Hockey Scholar. This course is recommended for grades 4 through 7. It consists of six lessons that are about 20 to 25 minutes each. It's going to cover data and graphical analysis, calculating area, distance versus time, and coordinate planes. When students first start the course, they enter the locker room of the local hockey team, and they get to watch a hype-up video based on that team's history, just kind of priming them for the experience of officially joining the team and helping work towards the team goals. After the hype video, they get to meet the head coach of the team. This is where they learn the context of the game. They're going to complete math and science challenges to fill up that trophy case on the right. So their ultimate goal is obviously bringing home the Stanley Cup, which they will earn by completing these STEM challenges. The trophy case also lets students keep track of their scores on the individual assessments that they're going to take while they're completing the activities. So let's click into this game section here. And we're going to take a look at the first game, Uncover the Ice. But students can start these activities in any order. This is a good example of how Future Goals Hockey Scholar frames these STEM activities within a STEM career. They have to help the crew at the arena 
transition over from a basketball court into the hockey rink. So they're going to make some predictions about area, and then they're going to figure out how to actually do this in the most efficient way possible. Before they jump into the activity itself, they'll have to do a pre-assessment. You'll be able to keep track of all of your students' pre- and post-assessment scores automatically from your teacher dashboard under the report section. I'll show you how to do that in just a bit. After a quick video that shows them what this process looks like in real life, they're going to start their first experiment where they have to uncover the ice. So they're going to start removing pieces of the basketball court to reveal the ice underneath. This is going to help them just identify and explain units of measurement used for area calculations, describe how unit squares can be combined to create an object of a given area, analyze area calculations to derive the area formula, and apply area formulas for whole number edge lengths. Let's take a look at another lesson in the math edition of Future Goals Hockey Scholar. This lesson focuses on the shot. So they're going to analyze hockey shots and explore the interaction between two unbalanced forces, applied force and frictional force. They're going to use this knowledge to hit specific targets on the ice. So this is going to teach students about force, magnitude, direction, friction, and Newton's first law. Students get to experiment here by applying different amounts of force and adjusting the amount of friction that the puck is facing on the ice. After they make the adjustments on the sliders, they click the shoot puck button on the right, and their goal is to hit the target right in the center and make it light up green. In addition to the math edition, there's also a science version of Future Goals Hockey Scholar. This course is also recommended for grades four through seven. It has six lessons that are roughly 20 to 25 minutes each it aligns with NGSS standards and state standards. It's going to cover experimental variables, types of forces, body systems, and kinetic and potential energy. Let's take a look at game number four in the science edition of Hockey Scholar. In this activity, students role play as the equipment manager for the hockey team. They're going to learn that each player has a really different playing style and that they need their equipment to match that style. And the adjustments made to the equipment are going to have a real big impact on the way that they shoot the puck, the way they pass the puck, the way that the stick lies on the ice. All these are different variables that they have to consider. They're going to practice making these adjustments on the equipment, and they have to match these adjustments they're making to the different player's style. This is a really great lesson in design thinking. It's showing them that whenever you're building equipment, designing new products like this, you have to really take into consideration the end user. How can you make it the most effective piece of equipment for their specific use. Now they have to go do some analysis. So they're going to be able to fill in all of these different categories based on the observations they made. So for example, they know that a player with a lower crouch skating style might prefer a stick with a low lie. Next, students are going to examine the flex of a stick, basically how bendy the stick is and why players prefer a certain amount of flex depending on the types of shots they normally take. They'll spend some time practicing this by seeing if players prefer a stiff or a more flexible stick whenever they're doing different types of shots. So they learn that a stiff stick is better for a slap shot, and a flexible stick is usually preferred more for a wrist shot. Now that you've seen what the course experience looks like, let's jump into your teacher account. This is how you get access to the Future Goals Hockey Scholar course and get started with your students. First, go to everfy.com slash new teacher. On this page, enter the state where you live, then go ahead and enter your school name. Just start typing it and it should show up automatically. Then click the next button. Fill out your account details, name, last name, your school email address, then set up your password, confirm the password, then click select a course, scroll down until you see Future Goals, Math, or Future Goals Science. By adding either of these, you'll automatically get access to both. And click I agree and next. See that now you have access to both Future Goals Math and Future Goals Science. There's also a resources button next to each program. If you click that, you'll be able to see all of the supplemental offline resources that go with the online lessons. So you'll have answer keys, course outline, curriculum guide, 
And then you'll have all of these different lesson plans and transcripts for each individual module. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll be able to see all of these really cool lab packets that give you extension activities to supplement the online lessons. Back on the home page, click View Course to see a student demo version of the program. This will open in a new tab so you can easily click back to the home page. Click the Add Course button to add any additional resources from the EverFi catalog to your dashboard. Every resource in here is provided at absolutely no cost. They're organized by subject area. You can also see the recommended age level and grade level for each course. Since we're talking about STEM today, I'm going to add the Endeavor program. Just click this green Add button and you'll have access to a STEM career exploration course that is a great supplement to Future Goals Hockey Scholar. Click the Home button. Let's go over how to give your students access to these resources. On the home page, click the green Create Class button. On this page, you'll have to fill out all of the class details. So start by giving your class a name. I'm going to call mine STEM and Sports 2021. Select a start date, then select the class size and your grade level. You can add more than one grade level here if you need to. At the bottom here, click the blue Add Courses button to bundle different courses together. So I'm going to add Endeavor and the Science version of Future Goals Hockey Scholar. Once you have all of the resources added, click the blue Create button on the top right. You'll get a confirmation pop-up with your registration code. Go ahead and copy this code. Whenever your students register or sign into their EverFi accounts, they'll enter this code and it'll give them access to all of the resources that you just added. All the resources have built-in automatically graded assessments. Click the Reports tab to view your students' progress and their assessment scores. Just filter by the specific resource, and then this spreadsheet here will populate with all of your students' names, their usernames, and all of their scores on the pre and post assessments. Go ahead and click the Home button. I'm going to show you how you can get additional support for implementing these resources. Click the Support button in the top left. Here you'll see your local schools manager. Their name and email will be right under this schools manager section, so you can always send them an email to set up a quick training if you need a refresher or just have any general questions about the EverFi platform. Click the Invite a Teacher button if you'd ever like to share any of the EverFi resources with your network. All you have to do is add your teacher's name, their email, their school, state, and if you'd like, you can add a personal greeting letting them know why you're recommending these resources. Then in the course dropdown, go ahead and select the specific programs that you'd like to recommend. Then click Send Invitation. Thank you again for joining us for today's quick learning lab. I hope you enjoyed the preview of Hockey Scholar and now have a better understanding of how to get started with EverFi's resources. If you'd like to learn more, please visit us at everfi.com slash k-12. If you're looking for more professional development opportunities, make sure to check out the on-demand webinar section.